Well, we have all been there. You're driving down the highway and your car gets hit by debris mm. or you hit a pothole that you simply couldn't avoid. So who pays for that? Yeah, who pays for that? WCNC Charlotte investigative reporter here, Bill McGinty, speaking with the experts. So you're not left asking where's the money? Yeah, one of the most common consumer emails I get of all time, probably in my totality of 10 years being here is about pothole damage. I get this vehicle, uh, this this uh, email all the time. In fact, AAA estimates that 375 of all deaths in road debris ca crashes are because the driver swerved suddenly to avoid something, perhaps a pothole. So who is responsible and how do you go about reporting the damage? I sat down with the Department of Transportation to ask those very questions. So if you're driving down the road and, and, and something is kicked up, whether it's from, you know, a contractor on the side doing doing yard work, whatever the case may be, what's the process for reporting damage? A lot of people wonder that. If it's something that uh, someone contracted with DOT is doing some work and something occurs, uh, they can contact the district office in the county where it happened. And what they can do is fill out some paperwork for a tort claim or a damage claim. Basically what DOT does at that point is we handle the paperwork more or less. So we would get it to the contractor and then it would be the contractor's insurance company that would be dealing with the, the individual that's reporting the damage. Now, um, if it's something that DOT was doing, um, the same situation would apply, tort claim would be filled out, but we send the paperwork to the Department of Justice. Um, basically, DOT does not make a decision on whether or not to grant a claim um, to, to someone whose vehicle was damaged. In, in the case where the department was doing work, it would be, on the uh, Department of Justice to make that um, claim being being granted or denied. Uh, in the case of a third party contractor, again, it would be the contractor's insurance company that would need to settle with the individual. I'm a reporter that's, that's big on proof, video, documentation, paperwork, photos, just to weed out fraud. So what does someone really need to prove their case? The tort claim form does ask for that kind of information. Basically, you're giving a, a statement more or less saying where you were that day, what time of day it happened, what, what occurred. Um, if you do have any photos, any estimates that you might have uh, received for uh, repairs. But, but what's difficult, too, is uh, perhaps you're driving down the highway and a rock flies up and, and hits your vehicle. But how long was that rock there? And, and where did it come from? And did it come off of a, a vehicle? Like, there's just so many variables. So if a ladder falls off a trailer, maybe 10 cars up in front of you and now is in the roadway and you hit it, that's not DOT's fault. We have to know, did it fall off another vehicle? And then do, do you have the name of the company of that vehicle or the name of that driver? And then can you track down that person and settle up with them? As you can see, there's so many different moving parts. It's, it's difficult to prove. Of course, we, you know, we, we examine every claim and we, we pass those claims on, but at the end of the day, uh, the department does not make that decision whether a claim is granted or denied. Very good information. We appreciate it. Okay. So here's the takeaway from all this, document everything. But unless somebody is hurt or multiple cars are involved, don't bother police with it. You're gonna wait a long time because it's gonna be a very low priority. I put the DOT link and the form to report all the damage in the web version of this story. And you can find it over on WCNC.com, but definitely take lots of pictures and video. If you're gonna email me, it certainly helps me. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and I guess that's that's the kind of like the tricky part in the heat of the moment, making sure that you're catching the car that it oh, fell yeah. off and all that. So. There are a lot of cheap dash cams out there. You can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them at Walmart. They recycle the memory and they plug right into the port. You can record everything as you're driving. It's easy. Always it's a good thinking. way to prove everything. Too. Wow. Bill's always There's thinking. There's a way to keep track yeah. of it. Bill, thank you. Yeah, you bet.